Alright everybody, welcome to Knott's Fishing. Today we're working on this 2003 Yamaha F225. It's a TXRC 2003. We've got a fuel pump problem. Um, whenever you get up on, trying to get up on plane, it starts sputtering, spitting and sputtering. And uh, nine times out of ten, it's this uh, fuel pump that's inside there. either gets clogged up in the screen or the pump itself goes out. So we're going to go ahead and replace that. I'm going to show you how you do it. Okay, so we're going to have two bolts here. Two bolts on the other side. And we're gonna have those two bolts there. And from what I can remember, there's right there. There's the other bolt right there. So we're gonna get those off real quick. And then one more bolt right there. So we're gonna get those off and get this uh, intake breather out. That'll pop off. Loosen this so that whenever you come back to put these on, these slide on nice and easy. So, first thing I'm gonna do here is drain the VST tank so I can deal with a bunch of fuel. And you do that by loosening the screw right here. This might be too big of a screwdriver. It is. And first thing we're gonna do is drain the VST tank here. And do that by turning the screw here. Feels like somebody's been in here before. Probably put the wrong screw in there or uh, cross thread in it because it is very tight to turn. process. Locked in there by a bunch of clothes like that now. So, pull this out and see what's holding us up. Probably be a lot of crap right now. We may even go ahead and take this off.
Alright, so we ended up having to disconnect this hose, this hose, the vacuum, and this slide right here. And now we're gonna go through and unscrew all these time screws here. So bear with us. Back to time lapse. All right, we got all the bolts off. I ended up having to pull this line right here, which goes to right here. I pulled that line out just so we can get this uh, tank off here. So we are gonna remove that. It just comes out that easy. And uh, most of the time, uh, you got your little float valve here. All that looks good. Most of the time, from my experience, uh, these, these tanks, uh, most of the time the problem is ends up relying right in here. Uh, there's a screen in here and most of the time it's clogged up and uh, uh, it's normally not the pump, it's this piece right, right here and that doesn't come with the pump. And as you can see here, uh, you can look inside there and you can see all that gunk. That normally restricts it enough to where it will not pump or flow enough uh, fuel pressure for you to get up on plane and whatnot and it'll cause it to sputter so if you uh, get some uh, carb cleaner out and, and spray that most of the time that will do the job but you did all this work to get to this point these pumps are known to fail so we're going to go ahead and replace this pump so. All right, we got our nuts back on, bolts back on, then on, our plug back plugged in. We are ready to start this boat up. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button so uh, more people can uh, get a view of it. But that's how you fix a Yamaha that is sputtering and not getting up on plane. As soon as it gets close to getting up on plane, it starts sputtering and uh, get it going so most of the time it's that screen you don't have to replace that fuel pump but if you go that far you might as well spend the extra couple hundred bucks and get the whole thing done thanks for watching not fishing we're out